what's going on YouTube how are you guys doing today it's Kiki here welcome back to my channel so I had a couple DIYs for you guys um, but kind of messed those up should have listened to my husband but you can learn from my mistakes and keep a lookout for that one if you want to ever know how to remove spray paint from a shoe <laughs> anyway so today I have a quick DIY for you guys I've never tried this before this is my first time using this uh, rich dye here and today we are going to be using this color in royal purple and I'm going to be showing you guys the victim soon <laughs> this is my first time I'm, I'm going to leave the link for how to do it down below in the description box if you're interested in doing it okay I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do hopefully I don't mess this up <laughs> All right guys, so those are my victims right there. I want to dye my Pump Chaser socks royal purple, this old Nike shirt that I have, and then um, there's another white shirt under there that I want to dye purple as well. So I put water into this stainless steel pot to boil. It's not that hot, just don't boil it too much. I have one cup of salt here. And then I have a spoon to mix everything with and I have um, dish soap. I got, I just gotta use one drop in that. And we're gonna use this thing to put our baked things in, okay? You want to go ahead and read the directions before you do it but like i said i watched the video so i will link that below if you guys want to watch it i'm gonna go ahead and put the dye in now probably use most of the bottle leave it like that it also said that you can use a napkin to test it out we're gonna, I'm gonna go inside and get a napkin to test out the water. Now I'm gonna test it out with my napkin here. Mm. Okay. I think it's purple, huh? Maybe we can put some more in there. You know what? We might as well put the whole bottle in there. Okay guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and place my first victim in there. Let me get my other sock. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. This is my sun shirt that you can't live without it. So it's about to be a new color. Oh pretty. And then one more. Here goes the Nike one. Let me back up. Back up because I don't want to stain myself. It also said to wear gloves, guys, but I didn't have any gloves. And I forgot to get some at the store, so use precaution. Safety first. Don't be like me. So guys, I love the way they came out, so I'm going to use these leggings in there to see how they come out. We're going to go ahead and put these in there and see how these come out. Don't be like me, guys. Use gloves, okay? Ooh. All right, guys, so I used a little bit of this Persil right here in the wash. Close that up, and we're going to do a quick wash. And we're going to put the temperature up a little bit. And we are ready to wash our items. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and dry our goodies now. And I'm excited. Can't wait to show you guys what they look like. Alright guys, so there's still a little bit of sunlight left. And I wanted to come outside to show you guys what the colors look like I, they all turned out different colors which was very unique i had a lot of fun doing this and it was very easy to do 
So this is the Nike shirt. This color is absolutely beautiful. And it's different from this color here. This is my son's favorite shirt. It's really soft. Yeah, it's two different colors. I'm sure you can see that there. My socks. I'm most excited about my socks because I'm not sure if you can see like the top part is darker, like a dark royal purple. And then the bottom is like a lilac. And this color here changed too because it was like a gold. I'm actually going to pick up some more of these and do like pink, brown, beige, just a whole bunch of colors because I love these. Um, so yeah, guys. And last but not least, my leggings that I got off of Amazon. These were like a white cream color. And the color on these is just beautiful. These are very, very pretty. They turned out really, really nice. Everything turned out different. Like, it's not the same color for all of them. All of them are different colors. This is being the darkest. This was the darkest. And I believe everything is cotton here. So, I'm not sure if you can see the different colors on everything. But this was actually a pretty cool um, DIY. I think it was a pretty cool experience because the dye will work different for different fabrics, if that makes sense. Because I did see that, I think it was for nylon and silk, you're supposed to use one cup of vinegar. So you never know, we might do a couple more of these in the future, but I think they turned out really, really nice. Really nice way to upgrade your clothes if you have any white cream or any color that you want to dye so definitely check out the rit dye out if you're ever at walmart i got it at walmart it was like three dollars and certain cents you can get it online um but i think that it's really easy and simple to do and i'm about to go get a couple more <laughs> dyes to do a couple more diys really quickly guys i want to thank the eight people that entered my beast mode giveaway i appreciate you guys very much thank you for entering it i'm excited for you and i will be drawing the winner and uploading it either monday or tuesday this coming monday or this coming tuesday okay if there's anything in particular that you guys want to watch you can jot it down in the comment section but i will be doing more diys because i feel like that's why i started this channel back then so i can be creative <laughs> if you guys would like to follow my fitness journey you can follow me on instagram at kiki garcia underscore 17 i will leave it linked down below as well if you guys want to go ahead and see what i'm doing over there thank you to anyone that watched this video i hope that you enjoyed i hope that you learned something i will see you on my next one have a good night yeah good night because <laughs> it's night already <laughs>